Welcome to this presentation on regression analysis and our spin on it is we're going to be using SQL. There are several advantages to using SQL and one of them being is that's where all the data is stored. So you can take advantage of the strength and power of the database engine when you make these calculations. Our data set is going to be from a fish market and we are going to use regression analysis to predict the fish weight using SQL. So what is simple linear regression? Well first of all we have to understand correlation. And correlation is usually used to find the interdependence between two variables. We're not saying that one is an independent variable or the other one's a dependent variable. We're just looking for the interdependence of those variables. On the other hand, Linear regression assumes that there is a one-way causal effect from the explanatory variable to a dependent variable. So x is an independent variable and y is the dependent variable and we look to create a line that predicts y from a given x. To further define regression we need to understand that we use it in business fairly often and it's a method used in, say, finance that determines the strength and character of a relationship between a de dependent variable, which is y, and either a single or a series of independent variables x. In the business arena, regression is heavily used in areas such as finance and accounting. So regression helps investment and financial managers to value assets and understand the relationships between variables such as accounting values and the stock prices of a given firm. So why does regression rock so hard? Well, regression analysis helps an organization to understand their data and use them to facilitate better decision making. In essence, regression analysis helps businesses to predict the future and make better decisions. So there is some math behind the regression formula and here it is. Simple linear regression is y equals a plus bx plus u, where y is the variable that we're trying to predict, that's the dependent variable. x is the variable that is used to predict y, and we call that the independent variable. a is the intercept, b is the slope, and u is the regression residual. Notice that it's a bit extended here. If we have multiple independent variables that we're going to use to predict our dependent variable. So here is our simple linear regression graph. Notice here on the bottom we have our independent variable x. We have our dependent variable y. Each of these blue dots represent a data point or a combination of x and y. This line is the simple linear regression line that expresses the relationship between x and y. So here is the table structure for the fish table in SQL. The first thing we have is species and it's char 15. We have the weight in grams and all the rest of these are decimal 18.5. We have vertical length in centimeters diagonal length in centimeters, cross length in centimeters, height in centimeters, and diagonal width in centimeters. Here is the data in that same SQL table. Notice this is our species and we have species such as roach, whitefish, parkey. This is weight in grams, so this one might be 290 grams. This is vertical length in centimeters, diagonal length in centimeters, cross length in centimeters, height in centimeters, and diagonal width in centimeters. Here is a diagram of the fish to get an idea of what these measurements mean. Down here is the length of the fish, the basic one, from here to here. Looking at a fish from the side view then, this is the depth of the fish. And looking top down, Here's the width of a fish. And some of the measurements go diagonally. So it might be from there to 
here. So there are a few different measurements that you can have in order to capture the exact characteristics of a given fish. For our regression analysis of this fish data then, we will look at a dependent variable is weight in grams. In other words, given some other variable, what is our predicted weight in grams? So that's the dependent variable. Our first independent variable is vertical length in centimeters. The end game here is can we predict with some level of confidence the weight in grams of a fish if I know the vertical length in centimeters. I initially ran this data in Excel in order to get regression statistics and see if I get the same statistics when I write the SQL for it. So the correlation statistic is 0.91. The regression statistic is 0.83. So let's explore those a little further. Let's calculate those same statistics in Excel and we'll see how easy it is and the procedure to do it. So the first thing I want to do is go to my data tab right here and I'll move this over to the far right. I installed the data analysis and so I double click it and it opens up a dialog box here. I scroll down to regression and now it's starting the process for me. I need to choose my Y range and that's going to be the weight and that's from B2 to B160. I choose my X range, that's going to be the length of the fish, and I put that here in the X range, that's my independent variable. I click OK, and here is the output for the regression statistic and the correlation. So here's our correlation, here's our regression statistic, here's our adjusted, our standard error, and our number of observations. The multiple R is the correlation coefficient, and it indicates the strength of the linear relationship. If the correlation is a perfect one, that means it's a perfect positive relationship. A value of zero means there is no relationship at all, and a value of negative one means a perfect negative relationship or an inverse relationship. It is the square root of R squared. R value of 0.915 indicates a very strong positive relationship. The R square is what we call the regression statistic. It is the coefficient of determination. It returns the number of points that fall on the regression line. For our example, it's 83.85%, which means that 83.85% of the variation of Y values around the mean are explained by the x values. In other words, 83.85% of the values fit the model. The adjusted R square variation is really important if you have more than one independent variable. Our independent variable was length of the fish and our dependent variable was weight. So we have a single independent variable. So we would really only want to use this variation if we have more than one X or independent variable. Another good way to test for goodness of fit is the standard error. That along with R square are the two methods to do that. The standard error of a regression provides the absolute measure of the typical distance that the data points fall from the regression line. Now this standard error is in the unit of the dependent variable, which in this case is the weight of fish in grams. The statistic for our example is 140.30 grams, which seems reasonable when you look at the data and you see fish that weigh from 200 to 1200 grams. So what is the difference between the R square statistic and the standard error statistic? Let's use the analogy of the fish to help clarify the difference. The R squared statistic is equivalent to saying one fish is 80% larger than the other fish. Now that sounds like that's very large. However, it makes a big difference whether the initial weight was 200 grams or 2000 grams. The increased size based on the percentage can be either 160 grams or 1600 grams respectively. 
One is quite modest, whereas the other is quite impressive. If you need to know exactly how much larger the relative measure is lacking, the standard error of the regression is equivalent to reporting precisely how much larger a fish is than the initial fish. The fish is 1,600 grams heavier. Now that's impressive. In our data set then, we have 159 total fish. And here is the SQL that we wrote in order to calculate the coefficient of determination or the correlation statistic as well as deviations from the mean. So here is the SQL stored procedure in SQL Server and hopefully the font's larger and we can see it. This first part calculates the correlation coefficient. And this second part looks for our actual regression statistic. We see that we at this point are looking at the vertical length in centimeters, the weight in grams, again the vertical length in centimeters, and that is the end of our stored procedure. Let's create that. Then let's run our stored procedure and let's take a look and really what we want to see are these last two statistics. Our correlation co coefficient, the 0.915, and then our regression statistic is 0.838, which are the same as what we calculated in Excel, but we have a lot of decimal points here. So it's important to reiterate in our calculation that the correlation coefficient was that 0.915 number and the regression statistic, or the coefficient of determination, was 0.838. To refresh our memory, here is the Excel output. And again, there are our two statistics. Our correlation is 0.915, and the coefficient of determination, the R square, or the regression statistic, which is 0.838. The standard error was this 144 grams and the number of observation was 159 fish. The adjusted R-square was very close to the R-square because again we had a single independent variable. In conclusion, it's important to learn regression because it's the first and most basic component as we try to do predictive analytics. Regression statistics are used for decision making in a business, optimizing the business, predicting the future for our business, analyzing risk, and understanding failures in the business.